God saying? No, find out from God. If you're a man of God, you're supposed to hear from God. You may not be a prophet to everybody, but you are a prophet to your destiny. That's it. Can I say it again? You may not be a prophet to the whole church, but you are a prophet to your destiny over issues about the manifestation and the fulfillment of your ministry. The whole thing is in your heart. Ask God. The one who called you, has he suddenly become quiet? You, you told people that God told you to start church. Why is he not dumb? Why is that God who called you? No one was there. You said God called you. Why is that God not talking again? Want to open branch? You say you don't know, Pastor. Please help me find out from God. Should I open branch in Abba? Am I the one that called you? The one you said called you. What closed the mouth? Inquiry is the key. If you are not always asking God question, you will not get an answer. Many of you are too easily defeated when there is no emergency response. When you intimidate somebody consistently with talking you will definitely hear him talk God is a communicator where is Pastor Asa
not speak if you have concluded. Let me say it again. This will help you. God does not speak if in your heart you have concluded. It means if you speak, you won't do it because you have already concluded what you will do. So there's no need to speak. So if you want God to speak, you must promise him that whatever he says, you will do, no matter how you feel. Aha. He will say, okay. Now, second thing you do, you, divide, you make it to a divide of, do I go? Do I not go? You take one first. Lord, I'm going to Abba. Should I go to Abba? After asking God that question, do I go to Abba? Then you wait for God to answer. How does he answer? By this divide. You just keep on saying it. I'm going to Abba. I will go. You're saying it out. I will go to Abba. You're arranging your things as if you are I'm going to Abba. Try to plan. What you will do in Abba? They are asking questions about Abba. If the Lord is not in support of Abba, the more you are excited trying to plan about Abba, your joy and the peace in your heart will be dropping. Although you are saying I will go, but your spirit will have no peace. Then you write it down. Excited inside again. Although promise is there, the promise in Abba is even better than the one in Lagos. But I don't know why I'm not why I'm not excited in my, in my spirit. There's a reason to be excited physically, but in my spirit, where the Holy Ghost is, it means the Holy Ghost is saying, What you are saying now, I'm not in support. I will go to Abba and say, No, I won't follow you. That's why you're having absence of peace. Then you change it again. I will not go to Abba again. You will observe that the peace that left will be coming gradually. I will not go to Abba. Suddenly you are getting happier. Suddenly you are getting peace in your hand. Holy Ghost said, now what you are saying now, I mean support. Peace is the final conclusion. Peace is the signpost of God's direction. If you are trying to be involved in something enthusiastic and interesting and encouraging, but the peace of God is not registered. It's a red light. It's telling you what you are trying to do. I'm not involved. Oh. Colossians 3 15. And let the peace, and let the peace, so harmony, the harmony of the soul, which comes from Christ, which comes from Christ, rule. Is the one that rules as what? Act as umpires. The Could. umpire, not enough umpire. The one that's a referee, the referee that says who won. Say no win. Well, is the winner. He said, let peace be the umpire. Continually, continually in your heart, in your heart, deciding, deciding and settling, and settling with finality, with finality. All questions. How many questions? All. Anything that has to do with your life, that's a question mark that arise in your mind, that arise in your heart. In that peaceful, peaceful state. state, that is where God 